Step two, we are now going to make the legs of the doll. So you will need two pairs of fabric from this particular pattern. And what we will do is we are going to sew a five millimetre seam allowance. Make sure that your fabric is right sides together and you'll sew along here around and you'll stop there because this space here is going to be your opening. Once you've sewn that 5mm seam allowance you can then turn the legs through and stuff with your hobby fill if you've got your hemostat that will make the job easier and then the leg will look like this and then to close it off we're going to create an invisible stitch which will look like this. A pull. Keep going. So you we're just doing it side to side and then down, side to side and down. Close that up. And if you do that neat enough, you will hardly know the difference between the sewing done by the machine and your own stitches. I'm just going to tie a knot. Everyone has a different method for sewing. Some people uh, might not agree with the way I do things, but it works for me and you do what works for you. So make sure you do that for both pairs of legs. And that is step two. Yay! Step three, we are going to create the dart for the underarm pieces. You are going to fold these two points together and pin it. And you are going to stitch from there all the way up to that little dot there. In doing so, you will create a nice little curve to the underarm piece. Next up we are now going to bring the arm pieces and the underarm pieces together like so. Make sure you've got right sides together. I recommend pinning them together make sure that the, the, all the sides match and like with all previous parts you're going to sew them together using a 5mm seam allowance running around. 
like this, stopping there. As per usual, we're going to have an opening, which we can then turn through. And we can stuff the arms with hobby fill. And then once we've done all that, we then do an invisible stitch. And now, the magical invisible stitch. And now you will have two arms and two legs and two ears. To recap, let's have a look at what we've done so far. We have created the ears, we've created the arms, and we've created the legs. Step four, with right sides together, we are now going to sew along the centre back line of your centre back piece. So you'll be running a 5mm seam allowance just along there, okay? We're going to keep this side open because this is the sides. Step five, we will now look at sewing up the tail piece. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your two pieces, right sides together, and you're going to sew the outside edge with a five millimeter seam allowance. So sew, 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 sew. You're going to keep that open so that when you Finish sewing this, you're going to turn the tail through so it's right side out and then stuff the tail with hobby fill. The other part of step 5, in the original instructions, will have you attaching the tail to the bottom of the centre back section like so, just running a stitch along there. I've changed my mind about that though least for this particular project because as you'll see on this first doll that I made I had to sew the tail to the top there because if I didn't the tail hangs down and it looks like it has a little peepee -pee. nothing wrong with little peepees but since it's not meant to look like a little peepee -pee and it's meant to look like a tail that's what I've had to do So, put aside your tail for now and we'll come back to that toward the end of the, the doll making project. Now for step six, we are going to sew these two darts at the bottom of your centre front piece, like so. You can see the two darts there. Turn it over. It will look like this. And then you're going to take your frilly trim and you're going to line it up on your centre front piece as per these dotted markings on your pattern. So we need three. it goes one and then the next one there and just move that up a bit and of course there if it's easier just pin in the trim and then stitch it, you can hand stitch it or you can use your sewing machine.